Greetings, Java Weirs, it's Tom here, and welcome to Minecraft Mining for Beginners, episode 4. Making your first block, yee -hee! So, what's up guys, um, let's get started with this thing. So, we want to do two stuff, and I'm gonna split it up in two parts, because this is the first kind of where we have to do some code. <coughs> and it's... No way, I'll do this in one actually. But I'll explain everything. Okay, so you want to go in the middle because that, that then it looks cool and it's easier to, to find around stuff. So actually what I'd like to do is put three of these on each side. Cuz that's the main stuff about it. Um da da dum 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 da da dum 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 da 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 na 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 enough of these Well I could but I'll do that later. No I'm not gonna do that okay. So we got the blocks. Whenever you make a new item or block or mob or biome or whatever you wanna make or food or armor or tools you gotta make this line public Static, uh, static, final. That's what you want to do. That three lines of purple text. <laughs> I know it's getting like sometimes it gets purple and it can also get blue, like there. No. <coughs> Let's go on. <coughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so we're making a block. So we're gonna declare that it's block. So we do capital B and we do <laughs> lock block. You do space, and now here comes the hard part. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not complicated yet. Um, now we want to make the. <laughs> I keep forgetting this shit. Oh well. Um, we gotta make an in game. No, not an in game name. Out game name. <laughs> uh, e yeah, we just gotta make a name. So what you wanna type in here? So for an example, if we wanted to make um. I'll do in my as my previous tutorials the modium. I'll make it different this time, but let's say we want to make a modium thingy. It you could type modium something, but let's cut this down to a M and then whatever it is. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do M or I know it doesn't spawn in the world yet. But we're not gonna do it. Oh, it says more M or okay. Just like that. More. Okay. <coughs> okay. <laughs> and what does that equal to? I mean, the public study final, the block, more. What does that equal to? Well, you do brackets. You open some brackets. And then you do new. Because you want to make a new of them. You want to make a new class for the block. Like for the other blocks. If you go into the uh, uh, client SRC net.minecraft.se it's the only one you want to look at sometimes you might want to look at the net.minecraft.client but yeah that's it so you can also if you're a bit more pro you can look at the others if you need something but we're not going to get into that now so we got a lot of classes here as you know but we're going to look at some of the block classes let's go ahead and look at the uh, block or so this is how the block or works and here's all the ores there's coal, there's diamond, or diamond, there is, or lapis, and yeah, there, there's all of them, okay? Did I just screw something up in here? No, good. Because you don't want to do that. <coughs> no, I didn't, good. Okay, so we want to make a new file called some, I'll just stick to the normal Minecraft, something, block something, so capital B because that's how it is out here you could also actually make M block but I'm just gonna stick to block and then call it block modium or like that so when we make a class uh, Java that Java class out here we gotta make K and name it block modium or with all the capitals and lower cases and uh, that's how you do that then still inside them you know, open some more brackets, normal brackets. So we got two closing and an opening there and there. 
So inside these, we want to type the block ID. Now you might know from Minecraft that if you are going to give yourself a block, you got to do give whatever your name is, and then you got to type the ID. Well, we got to make our own ID. But this is the bad thing about Mother. I think it's the only bad thing that with blocks you can um, you can only make from 200 to 256. I think it is, which is only 56 blocks and. If there's a mod with like 50 blocks and there's another not mother other mod with 50 blocks, they probably won't fit together because uh, they won't fit together because there's not enough IDs. Now that's the thing that uh, mod you no know, Micro Forge prevents, but I'm not gonna teach you that now. I'm just gonna teach you how to make a simple mod. Okay, not that Forge is hard, but <coughs> we'll just start with the mod loader concept. So I'm just going to start from 200 and then what I do, I see a lot of people put a comma and zero. Well that might make it easier but then you also have to make the textures for blocks but I just do it here. So when you're, okay here comes the first mod loader function. This is why, where we use the mod loader. So it's just not some useless shit. So we do capital M mod loader with a capital L also, so capital M and L. Mod loader dot and then you will see a list. Yeah, with a lot of mod loader functions. Add shapeless recipe add recipe add overwrite and all these. We're gonna do mod loader to add remember the add and then something and we're gonna do the mod loader to add overwrite. Now before the add was with a capital A but now it's not. But the overwrite has a capital O. So every time you do add and then you do something. It could be oh, what the oh? How did I do that? That was cool. Oh, never mind. Um, <coughs> so that's what you do when you do a mod loader function. You do mod loader dot add, and then what you want to add? We're gonna add an overwrite, which is for the texture. Now we're gonna open up some more brackets. So we got three closing. <coughs> I know it's weird, but yeah. So what is it that we want to overwrite? Well. Every time you want to do something, uh, like a string, you put these double quotes, double apostrophes, and in there we're going to put, because it's a block, we're going to put terrain dot png. Now, this will be in the, um, in the minecraft.jar. Now, in the minecraft.jar, there is actually, for you, for the guys who uh, know how to make texture pack, you all know this. And um, there is a PNG file where all the blocks are stored, and it's called terrain.png. Now, because we're making a block, we're going to overwrite that, which means we're not going to use it, but we're going to overwrite it. So then you put a comma, and where do you want to overwrite it? This is where we declare the texture uh, path. So, uh, oh wait, I actually have to put a slash here. It's very important, else it won't work, and you will be like, the hell, why did it crash? Texture not found. I did everything right. Well, you forgot the slash, dude. And then also here. And then here comes the path for where your texture should be. Now, we're going to make a folder just called Modium. So, you open a folder in Minecraft the jar called Modium. And in there, we're going to have the textures. Now, I'd like to call the texture uh, Modium or .png. And remember the slash when you... Uh, if it's if it's a folder, put no.png, and then put that, and then put a slash if it's inside that. So, yeah. So what this I think this basically means is, what well, where is it? It's in the Minecraft the jar, and then what's it called? So actually, how am I doing that? Okay, wait. I don't know how I do that, but so basically that means it's that. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> now I know that. Uh, basically this means it's the uh, Minecraft jar, and then in the Minecraft jar there's a folder called no, I don't want to drag it. There's a folder called Modium. There is. A space which means well uh, so inside that there's a PNG file called modium or that PNG which is our file now let me just pause it and see if it is actually uh, the time is going right okay I'll be back in a sec
Okay, um, we got five minutes, so this is kind of wrong. It's one minute behind, but <coughs> I think we'll split this up in two episodes, actually. Because I'm explaining a lot in this in these first uh, tutorials. Because you gotta be you gotta be in this, okay? I really want you guys to make big mods out there. So after that, you got three closing brackets. I know it's a lot, but that's how Java code is. Now we're gonna upgrade or not upgrade actually. How did I, why did I say that? We're gonna uh, customize the block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the hardness, which means how many times does it take for us to destroy the block? Well, since it's an or, we want to make it three. Now, that probably sounded weird. Three. How come I set the hardness to three? Well, you actually got to try this. Uh, just try around. But when you customize after the three brackets, you do dot set something. Like with the modeler that add. Here's dot set. And then I'm going to do hardness. And still, after the set, it's capital. You put brackets, and here comes a float. Now, I'm not going to explain what a float is now, but you have to put 3F, and the F basically stands for float. Now, 3 is, I think, for the OR. Let me just have a very, very quick look. I'll pause it, okay? Yeah, I was right. Um, If you see on the OR call, and the iron and gold, the set hardness is set to 3F. Well, here they put zero, but you don't have to. Now, the next couple of things is the resistance. Now, what I'd like to do, actually, is just to copy that. No, not that. That. No, I'll just write it, actually. What I did was just looking in the Java file cloud block dot Java. Uh, dot set resistance. Uh, 5F, I think it was. And then we're not going to do the step sign. We're just going to do dot set block name and you have to do this and the block and the name is capital you just have to do this else it won't work this is not the in-game name it's just the random name let's just put random name so it doesn't mind like seriously it doesn't mind and end it off with a semicolon you do that in a lot of programming languages but that's how we do it here so let's go ahead and save that and uh, I want to see how much time we have left okay we got still got four minutes three minutes um, so this is what we do now the next thing we have to do very quick is to register the block now as you see when I saved it it only gives me one error and it's on this one it's because we haven't made the file called block modium order Java we're gonna do that in the next episode but I'm just gonna register the block so two spaces here comes another model of function it's our second model function and it's called mod loader remember m and l capital mod loader dot add, no dot not add register block and register is still small because it's the first word after dot mod loader and then the next one is uh, capital block and you put brackets and then first you would put the name that we declared it as and that was more m o r e comma no wait just that and semicolon that one will get blue and that's basically that okay wait I think I'll end it here and I'll tell you guys uh, the rest of the stuff in the next episode so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will make more tutorials like these um, I'll make a lot actually yeah and I hope you guys enjoyed this please like this video and subscribe and favorite if all that shit you know and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.